So here we have a setup for electrostimulation and specifically we're going to be looking at reciprocal contraction which is using two channels or two leads coming out of the machine one lead per muscle oftentimes it's agonist antagonist but could certainly be set up for whatever application uh, that you're trying to uh, to accomplish so this is the vector genesis and the XT version is going to be the same thing it just has a little bit different look to it but the process and the setup will be exactly the same. So in the XT version you're going to be using Russian and certainly in this case you do have the option of using whatever uh, waveform that you would like to. Okay, Click on the edit button but just a quick note that when you look at this green screen it shows you all the parameters so it shows you the channel mode, um, the constant current, constant um, voltage, cycle time, burst frequency, and so on and so forth. So that helps to identify what the set of parameters are in a specific desired outcome. Click on the edit button, okay, and that brings up every, every parameter that you're going to be changing. The first one you're going to change is channel mode. Click on that and that's going to bring up reciprocal, that's also what gives you the co-contraction. Okay, and we are going to reciprocal mode. So if you don't have to change any other parameters, then you don't need to, but know that uh, you do have the availability to do so. So it defaults to setting up the first channel. So assuming that you have your leads set up to your uh, desired application, you're going to increase the intensity with the dial okay, to your desired level. Okay. And then you're going to go back up and you need to click on set intensity and that's going to give you channel 2. Increase your intensity to the desired level and now you're ready to go. Now keep in mind if you don't hit start that's going to keep stimulating uh, that last channel or whatever channel that you have to set on. Go ahead and hit the start button. Okay, That's going to initiate the treatment. So you'll see that channel 1 is going to click in, kick in first. Now I have this set to 1050, so that means for 10 seconds channel 1 is going to stimulate. And then you see it transitions, because there's a, a ramp time of 2 seconds, transitions to channel 2. Now during that time you can also set the intensity if you needed to change that for whatever reason. Okay, So what will happen is the cycle time, that's the on-off, so the on will be 10 seconds, it'll be on 10 seconds channel 1, then convert to on 10 seconds channel 2, and then it'll be 50 seconds off. So that's how that works in reciprocal, is it's going to be 10 seconds channel 1, 10 seconds channel 2, and then 50 seconds off. So you actually get even more rest time, so you know, make sure you take that into consideration when you're, when you're calculating the actual rest time that you would like for whatever reason. So I changed my cycle time for this example here. So I've got four seconds on, and channel one is the extensors, and channel two is the wrist flexors, and I've got a 12 second rest phase. So it transitions from extensor after four seconds to flexor for four seconds, and then we'll have a 12 second rest phase until it initiates channel 1 again. So what happens is you actually get 12 plus the 4 seconds so you get a little bit longer rest phase in between but that's okay and you can certainly make some adjustments if necessary.